Hey guys, Rhonda Draculas here, and I have a really neat little um, sample project that I'm doing today, and it was out of a request. In my class, we had some people come up with a name for this finish, and it's coffee and cream because it has that coffee and cream look. So we're gonna start off with a stone coat countertop epoxy. I've tinted it white with their new white base tint. I love this. It's the Alumilite White Opaque Dye, and it's on Stone Coat's um, website. Excellent. Tiny bit goes a very long way. And then I'm going to tint a little bit, probably not even an ounce, with the Alumilite Brown Opaque uh, dye. And this gives a beautiful, almost looks like espresso. So, or really, really thick coffee. So, all right. And then for my highlights, I'm gonna use the uh, Stone Coat Countertop Gold Mica Powder, just a tiny bit. We'll see how much of this we'll use. So we're gonna get started. I've uh, prepped my sample board. It's a piece of MDF. It has a quarter inch round over so that when my epoxy does decide to go over the edge that uh, I won't have a 90 degree hard edge there. It'll just flow. And it is uh, prepped with bare paint and primer in one. Color is Ethiopia. And the reason I'm doing Ethiopia is it's kind of a neutral color. When I add this brown dye, it's gonna kind of give me an overall uh, creamy look and that just seems to work best with this finish. So let's get started. I've got my epoxy tinted. I do three ounces per square foot. This happens to take four ounces. And because it's a little bit cool in here, it's about probably right at 72 maybe, um, as opposed to 90 <laughs> outside. Um, I'm gonna hit it a little bit before I spread it out, just a tad with the torch, it just helps me to move it. And because I love using my hands, I'm gonna just use my hands to spread it out instead of using a trowel. When I, and another reason I like to use my hands is I can really take those edges, roll my hand around it, and now that epoxy is going to flow over those edges because epoxy doesn't like to flow where there's no epoxy. So if I um, help it out a little bit, it'll really flow nicely over those edges. Right here. All right. So. I've got it leveled out and I just have every bit of my board is covered. So epoxy is a self leveling medium. So it will uh, eventually lay out flat. I'm going to heat it up just a little bit so that it flows a little bit better. Okay. So I've torched my uh, white tinted epoxy, kind of letting it level out just a hair. And now we're going to come in with the espresso very very lightly well it actually depends if you want a marble that's gonna be more on the white side the cream side then you don't have to put quite as much of the uh, darker tint and that's kind of where i'm going to lean to i really don't want it super 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 um dark dark brown but i am actually have, I'm going to have a couple of areas where it's a little darker. And then I do want to add in just a hair of the gold. And it's just a little bit. I just want the gold to give a little bit of a hint of sparkle. That's not what I want your eye to follow when you look down into this piece. All right, taking a Bondo spreader, very, very simple little Bondo spreader, and... I'm just going to move these pieces and I'm only touching it enough that I'm getting that brown to just mix with my um, 
white. And then I'm gonna let it sit because this is where the magic happens. This is where you really get some neat designs in uh, the epoxy as you let it sit. So I'm gonna heat it up. And then I'm gonna let this thing set for just a little bit and I'm not gonna touch it except right, right there. Sometimes you get a little bit of surface tension with your epoxy, it doesn't want to flow. And so if you touch it just a little bit with your finger, it'll close that little divot up or it'll run over your edge. All right, so I'm gonna leave this alone and uh, we'll come back in just a little bit and play with it just a little bit more. Okay, so I've let it sit for just a couple of minutes, kind of just to see where my design is going. And so now I wanna go to the next step and I'm gonna hit it appropriately named the coffee mica and just a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna put it in my hand because I wanna have control of the size of the, uh, the drops and I really wanna hit it to give it a really neat look. Let that sit a little bit. And the reason I let it sit is two reasons. One, I like to see the design and the way the epoxy is going. Plus, if I get any divots uh, or uh, surface tension because of the alcohol, I can address those divots right then. So I'm really liking what I see, really starting to give some neat effects over here in the corner. Now, you don't wanna to torch this right after you spritz it with alcohol because um, you'll have an inferno. <laughs> Ask me how I know that. So, loving it. Really starting to meld together. The, uh, it's really starting to look like a cream, kind of a cream top. Even though I added really dark brown, because it's starting to mix on its own with the white, it's really getting that creamy look still have some really dark areas, which is really what I was going for. Contrast. Okay, I think, um, I think we're gonna just leave this alone, kind of watch it, make sure that uh, no divots appear, and then um, we'll be done. Okay, so I'm back. And those of you that know me, know me, I know that I, I, I can't stop. So I'm gonna play with this and what I need you guys to do is tell me, would you have stopped or would you take it to the next level, which is what I'm trying to do. So let's start here. I've got uh, a little bit of my brown and I'm just kind of following some patterns that have already kind of been in the finish. I'm just kind of accenting some of the really cool patterns. And I'm not taking a ton of color, just a little bit. No, I'm just kind of working it in there a little bit. Now this will give more of a, kind of a granite look almost. I'm following some lines that have just naturally occurred because of me spraying the alcohol on it or, or just naturally occurring. So now I'm just accentuating that. And I'm gonna come in a little bit with the gold. Just a little bit. Now remember, this epoxy is gonna continue to move and move and move for several hours. So these lines that I'm creating won't stay as hard lines. They'll start to kind of meld out. Okay, I kind of like that. All right, so I'm gonna take my torch, heat it up just a little bit, and I am gonna turn it just a dab. Now, like I said, it's super cold in here. Not super cold, it's cool in here. And so I'm getting my uh, epoxies really not wanting to wake up. It's wanting to be sluggish today, which is kind of how I'm feeling. So uh, I'm gonna use my heat gun to kind of wake it up a little bit more. Anytime you add heat, 
soften whatever pattern you've got laid down. Okay, so I've really softened it down. So I'm gonna leave that alone a little bit, see what else I can do to it. Okay, so I'm back. I've let it set for just a little bit. And remember I told you if you use your heat gun or add heat to any pattern that you have, it really softens that pattern. And I am really liking, I like soft marbles uh, with contrast. So I'm really liking have got some softness, but I still have contrasting colors. So this is a really neat finish. I could definitely see this in a bathroom, even an outdoor table or something. So what I would like you to do, if you don't mind, is leave in the comments, let me know, would you stop before I added the veins and hit it with a heat gun, or do you like this finish? We started off with a stone coat countertop, epoxy tinted white with their Alumilite white dye. Then I took a very small amount of epoxy and I tinted it with the brown opaque dye, also from Alumilite. That's on Stone Coat Countertop's website. Then I had a little tiny bit of gold mica. I tinted the epoxy with that. And we just randomly put it down. I put down my white first, spread it out. Uh, then I drizzled on the uh, brown little bit of gold and I'm kind of chopped it in a little bit with the Bondo spreader. Then I couldn't stand it, so I went a step farther and I added a few little veins, hit it with a heat gun, softened the pattern, and here we are. hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell to get future notifications and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you next time in our next video. Bye.